Thanks for joining us on this Monday night, everyone. I'm Dean Meminger. 11 people are hospitalized tonight following a carbon monoxide incident in the Bronx. A dangerously high level of CO was detected. New York One's Ron Lee is live in the Fordham section with the details. Ron. Dean, following that major carbon monoxide scare at this apartment building here on Decatur Avenue earlier this evening, the FDNY says 11 people, including seven residents, had to be rushed to a nearby hospital. And while everyone from the 15 apartments that had to be evacuated can now return to their homes, many admit to feeling uneasy. Even right now, I'm scared to go in because I don't know if anything can, you know, can come back and something can happen during the night. As she waited on the street after being evacuated from her apartment building due to high levels of carbon monoxide, Crismaldi Lopez said despite having a carbon monoxide detector in her apartment, she was alarmed that it did not go off. We were surprised when they knocked on our doors of our department to tell us that we have to evacuate the building because we didn't know exactly what's going on. The FDNY says they do not believe that any of the seven residents who had to be taken to a nearby hospital for treatment suffered injuries that were life-threatening. Fire officials say the unsafe levels of carbon monoxide were discovered by EMS workers who responded to a call about two sick people. When they went into the building, their carbon monoxide meters on their coats went off with 200 parts per million. They called the fire department to come. At that level, carbon monoxide can cause disorientation, loss of consciousness, or even death. The FDNY says the high levels of carbon monoxide were related to a boiler in the basement. One man tells me his sister, along with his one-year-old nephew and four-year-old niece, were all taken to the hospital. But he says, thankfully, they are all doing just fine. In the Fordham section of the Bronx, Ron Lee, New York 1, D. All right, thanks, Ron, for that live report. Meanwhile, police are searching for a hit-and-run driver in East Harlem.